Come and have a seat. A long, long time ago, in the galaxy far, far away. That's Star Wars. All right, all right, all right. In a remote village in Middle Earth. That's Lord of the Rings. Space, the final frontier. That's Star Trek. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. That's Infinity War. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's Gremlins. What the? All right, all right, all right. So in a faraway region called Spiral Mountain lived a foul, ugly witch called Brantilda. Well, actually, she's not that bad. She uses a magic cauldron called the Dingka and learns that a brown honey bear named Tootie is more beautiful than she is. Who is the fairest one of all? So the evil witch creates a machine to transfer beauty from one person to another, which she intends to use on Tootie. Obviously. So the evil Grantilda kidnaps Tootie while her brother Banjo was sleeping. <laughs> Lazy bears. So Banjo and his best friend Kazooie join forces to rescue Tootie. So while on their quest, they have to collect music notes and jiggies. Yeah, these things. They also get help from Bottles, a mole who is also Tootie's friend. A mole like this? No, Troy, that's a birth moon. A mole like Nebula and Endgame. No, guys, a mole like this. And of course, Momo Jumbo, a shaman who used to be Grantilda's teacher. And throughout their adventures, they have to rescue the Jinjos, small creatures in prison on each world by Grantilda. After gathering most of the music notes and jiggies, our heroes must participate in a trivia game show. What? A game show? Yeah, hosted by Grantilda. They have to use the notes and jiggies to answer questions and challenges related to certain aspects of the game. But Banjo and Kazooie actually win the game against Grantilda, and they finally save Tootie and live happily ever after. What? That's it? Well, no. Banjo and Kazooie actually celebrate with a barbecue, but Tootie reminds them that Grantilda escaped. So the duo enters the top of the land, where they go to confront her for the final battle. And with the help of the Jinjos they rescued throughout the game, they send the evil, ugly witch Grantilda falling towards Spider Mountain, where she gets trapped under a boulder. The end. This game sucks. Come on, Troy. <sighs> Fun fact, since they interrupted my fun fact, Banjo-Kazooie was originally conceived to be an adventure game for the SNES and it was going to be called Dream, but they never did it. Guess it was a dream. And Banjo-Kazooie was a critical and commercial success, selling nearly 2 million copies in the United States. In 1999, it received two awards, Game of the Year and Outstanding Achievement in Arts and Graphics, and was also remastered for the Xbox 360 in 2008, the year I was born. The sequel, Banjo and Tooie, was released in the year 2000, and Banjo Kazooie Grundy's Revenge was released in 2003, and of course, DLC characters in Smash Brothers Ultimate. Thank you for 
watching Tom's Toy Box. What do you like best about Banjo Kazooie? Please leave it in the comment section below. And as always on Tom's Toy Box, I'm going to be giving away a free toy to whoever leaves the best comment every single episode. Today's toy is going to be a Toad Amiibo. Since Banjo and Kazooie are partners, he's the most ultimate partner who ever lived. And the Casey Jones is going to go to the Action Guy because he left the best comment on the Little Mac episode. So, Action Guy, Casey Jones, all yours. Thank you for watching Tom's Story Box. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. That makes me know you're from the bar. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. Be sure to hit up my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Patreon. It's all in the description below. And if you want some merch, go to sadistichead.com. And you guys have a great day. Today's art shout out is going to go to Naruka Pasya. He does great character art. Check out his Instagram.